What is up guys, Photo Fever here and welcome back to another Tuesday two minute tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can create this sepia tone effect in your photos using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And in this particular case, we're gonna go ahead and choose this photo, which I got off of unsplash.com. And you're more than welcome to follow along by the link in the description. So what we want to do firstly is just simply create a sepia effect. So we want to remove a lot of the colors, but introduce some of the yellows and oranges that you get from old sepia toned photos. So what we're gonna firstly do is go down to our adjustment layers icon found in the bottom right hand corner. And we're gonna go ahead and choose hue and saturation. Now what we want to do is reduce the saturation of the photo by around 50%. So we're gonna to go to our saturation here and we're gonna do minus 50 in that place. And as you can see, the photo has now been ever so slightly desaturated. Then what we want to do is to actually create a certain look to the photo. So we actually use the color lookup layer. So we go down to our adjustment layers again, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and choose color lookup. Now color lookup has got a bunch of 3D LUTs or lookup tables. And we've got a free bunch that we can actually use in Photoshop. So we're gonna to go to the load LUTs here and you'll come with a drop down. The one we want to be using is called candlelight. And we're gonna go ahead and select it like so. The only problem with candlelight is it does darken the photo a considerable amount. So all we need to do is simply brighten it. And we can use the brightness and contrast adjustment layer for that. So we're gonna go again into the adjustment layers again, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and choose brightness and contrast. Now what we want to do is just brighten it up until you are happy with the results. Now the next stage is optional, but I do like adding in a vignette to a lot of my photos, especially if you're creating a sepia tone. So what we can do is we're gonna go ahead and create a vignette now. So we're gonna do our adjustment layers again, guys. Last time, we're gonna go ahead and select gradient. But what we want to do is to create a black to white gradient. So in our gradient editor tool here, we just want to choose black and white. Once you've done that, simply click OK, but we want a round gradient. So we're gonna change the gradient style from linear to radial, and we want the black to be on the outside. So we're gonna reverse this gradient. Then we just need to choose the right size. So I just want it to clip the ever so slight edges of the photo. So I think I'm going to choose 175 in this particular case. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then all you'll need to do is simply change the blending mode from normal down to multiply. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just reduce the opacity to around 50% because I did find it a little bit too strong. So what I can do now, guys, is just simply show you the before and show you the after. And I must say, I really like this effect if you wanted to create more of a really nice autumn theme to your photos without necessarily using an old film camera. And there we go, guys.